Do you think you're often looked over as the better athlete in the family? <laughs> that is a loaded gun you just handed me, buddy. Loaded gun. It's a, she has headphones in, we're all good. <laughs> she doesn't watch the show either, so we're also all good. Our nanny told us today, or the other day, that one of her friends knew who I was and didn't know who Rini was. <laughs> serving. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Tell us how a typical night in the uh, O'Donnell house goes tonight. Tim's on the computer. Okay. He lives on the computer. I'm making dinner. Izzy wants to feed from my boob. And I'm trying to just make her eat real food. Uh, somebody's gotta be the travel agent in this family. <laughs> and dishing out dinner. You know, just doing the wifely things. Actually, it's not the wife's job to cook, but I am making us food and Tim is not paying attention. The dinner's hot and he wants to stay on the computer. <laughs> Rini just got mad at me because I haven't booked her flights to Victoria yet. A race which I am not doing. <laughs> no, I was waiting for you. Uh. So does every pro triathlete have to be a travel agent? Pretty much, unless they have a spouse that does it for them. So, yeah, so here I am. Biz, add the trash, please. You need to add the trash, no. Add the trash. Yes, this is a trash. This is not where you, this is not a place, Ben. Have you finished? Rini races a week later. Are you gonna go race her, join her and I'm gonna babysit that weekend, so I'll go as the nanny. What if there's no one on the star list? I'll still be the nanny. <laughs> I can't get greedy, greedy in uh, June. Greed? Greed. Does not win world titles. No. No. How would that be bad to race a 70.3 right after a be a tiger. Iron yeah, race. be a tiger? <laughs> Um, you, you gotta let your body recover. I mean, you can, I'm sure, I mean, people have done it. I'm sure you could have various, actually people have done Ironmans back to back, but for me, I go all in on one race. And, um, yeah. When you go to those places, you gotta make sure you respect your body and your mind and, and give it time to recover. And I wish I had combed my hair. <laughs> Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Tell me, give me a hat, dude. First of all, thanks for telling me I had flock of seagull hair <laughs> in the earlier interviews. I blame both of you. <laughs> I didn't even notice. The only one not to blame is Izzy. July? We. We don't know what we're doing in July yet. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. We're Actually, it's hard because, yeah, they moved Augusta. So Augusta's two weeks out from Kona instead of three. Yeah. And I really want to do that as a tune up, but, um,. Maybe I do Augusta before Kona. What do you think? I personally don't think it's a good idea, <laughs> but maybe it works for you. Would you ever think doing anything other than what you did is a good idea? Is a I good idea. So. <laughs> <laughs> Rini, you'll do. You don't like racing two weeks out, right? No. I mean, I've, it's worked for me. I did um, a half two weeks before Roth in 2014, and still raced really well in Roth. But um, uh -huh. for Kona, but I prefer four or five weeks out, and I don't want to. I know that works, so I don't want to compromise. Do that. you think Augusta kind of messed up your race last year? Yeah, but only because I um, I kind of tweaked my hamstring a little bit mm. on the bike. I I really went for it. Um, I felt good, and I just really rode hard. <clears throat> and I think that that tweaked my hammy a little, and then so I was kind of like dealing with a sore. Not really an injury, but like a niggle. Oh. And you don't really want to be dealing with that leading into Kona, so. Um, I didn't have enough time to really let it rest. Yeah, I think um, four weeks, or actually five weeks if I do Santa Cruz. Izzy just gave herself a shower with Izzy. Aunt Izzy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, yep, you, you're all sugary now. We actually are. Um, planning a new addition to the house. Um, 
we're going to be signing with Master Spa here soon and we'll have a sweet new pool. Hi! Hi! Oh, thank you. Hey, that's Daddy's money. Rini, sitting back now, how happy are you that you went through the torture of racing Argentina last year? So glad. <laughs> so glad, especially since this year started off a little rough. I mean, yeah. but if I just uh, purely look at my own situation, it is really nice to not have any stress. Um, like I kind of, I missed a week of training when I got sick in Australia. And then when we got here, I missed racing Texas because um, I was sick and I was a little stressed at the time, and then I'm like, I have nothing to be stressed about. If I don't get my race in, um, it's fine. If I get a, have a week off of training here or there, it's fine. Like, I have wiggle room, I have options. And so, yeah, it's a nice place to be in. Are you stressed at all that you're not going to have uh, the Kona qualification next year, that it ends? <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I... Well, she may win. You and Sebi. Well, I mean, you get top three, you're qualified yeah. for the next year. Yeah, so this year, last year, 2018 was my last, well, this year is my last time of auto qualification. So it's been five years. Hi. This October, it'll be five years since I won Kona. And you wow. only get five years after you win um, that you auto can qualify or validate um, your position. So, yeah, I'll be just having to try and win a slot unless I get can get top three in Kona then then I just have to validate again but um yeah I mean it's not it's not a big deal I mean it was it's been nice to have that to like sort of fall back on but I feel like I should be good enough to be able to qualify yeah. at any Ironman event like anyway. last year you would have qualified yeah and yeah pretty much every year I've had enough points, ah, the points yes, around yes. to qualify as well so yeah even though I've had that uh, option, I've basically always qualified anyway. Except for this year. I um, would not have qualified in Argentina. Yep. And... You would have raced differently though. Yes, but... You, you raced knowing what you had to do to qualify. Yes. But, um, mm. yeah, it'll be different next year, but I'm not too concerned about it. And I ran... <laughs> yesterday I did um, a Healy run and it was 75. I had shorts and a singlet on and it was absolutely stunning and tim ran this morning the same run and he was freezing yeah. he was in a jacket and beanie beanie gloves gloves my hands were freezing by the end yeah so but i i, I kind of love that about boulder like we were in australia and every day was hot and sunny um i kind of like having some cooler days it's yeah. especially well today for me was a recovery day so it's kind of nice to have moody cold days from time to time i like it as long as, as, long as you don't have to ride yeah. riding in the, that weather is yeah not great not the best but luckily we have a wonderful pain cave where we can get our bike rides done even if it's cold yeah. we don't have to go out <laughs> <laughs> do you, you do what is he do you have to poop her <laughs> do you want to go to the toilet do you need to go to the toilet do you want to go to the toilet <laughs> So then looking way far ahead, what is your plan for next year? Are you going to do, or have you even think that far? Are you going to um, do an early Ironman then? Next or do you, year. is an a pro athlete, do you think that far ahead? Yeah, I mean, some, we start to think about like other races we might want to do the year after, but um, I think the, it's, the most important thing is to get through this year and our eyes on the, the big dance in October and eye on the prize there. and. It's, it's weird though, you kind of have things in your mind like what you might want to do after Kona and it always changes. Um, whatever happens in that race can change your mind pretty quick on what you think you need to do or what races you want to go and do. So you have a loose plan but then get through Kona and make concrete plans. Yeah, that was fake, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a fake cry, wasn't it, sweetie? Wow. This guy's like... This guy's what? This guy's what? This guy's what, is he? This guy? <laughs> Guys, Tim won't brag about this, but I will for him. <laughs> Who 
Who's that guy? He's damn good looking, isn't he? <laughs> Go buy this heart rate monitor. Just to, just because I'm on it. <laughs> it's the only reason. Tell the guy at Best Buy wherever you buy it that you know this guy. <laughs> hey, is Rennie on the polar one? Hey, Rennie. Yeah. Are you any box on, on any um, boxes for polar or? Thanks, Garmin. <laughs>